48-year-old Paul from North Tyneside has seen a miracle with his own eyes. 15 years ago, he was blinded in one eye. I just thought, is this it? Was I going to be blind for the rest of my life in the left eye? But doctors in Newcastle were working on something that would give Paul new hope. A few years ago, somebody had mentioned this to me. I thought, it's like science fiction, it doesn't exist. It's something you'd see in a movie. Here in Newcastle upon Tyne, Dr. Sajad Ahmad is growing something out of the ordinary. He's growing human tissue from stem cells. A stem cell is a cell that has the ability to give rise to other types of cells. Uh, and there are embryonic stem cells and adult stem cells. Embryonic stem cells have the ability to give rise to all other types of cells, whereas adult stem cells are much more limited. There was an incident at work about 15 years ago and uh, I lost the sight in the left eye. It was really painful. Paul's eye got splashed with corrosive ammonia which burnt away the stem cells in a region of his eye known as the limbus. If limbal stem cells get lost or damaged, what happens is that the corneal epithelium cannot be maintained and this results in uh, not only blindness but also constant pain from the eye. Adults have stem cells in the limbus which is the area between the cornea, the transparent window at the front of the eye, and the conjunctiva, the white part of the eye. On the surface of the eye, we have uh, corneal epithelium, and that's essentially lots of cells which uh, get shed on a daily basis. And for that reason, we have limbal stem cells, which can produce new corneal epithelium. The damage to Paul's limbal stem cells was so bad that his first treatment, a corneal transplant, was a failure. I just thought, is this it? Was I going to be blind for the rest of my life in the left eye? But medical scientists in Newcastle were working on a revolutionary technique. Dr Sajad Ahmad is also a clinician at Newcastle's Royal Victoria Infirmary. It's here that eye surgeon Francisco Figueredo was co-leading a project to develop a novel treatment for patients like Paul. We had a, a huge number of patients in Newcastle with stem cell deficiency. In 2000, we started to develop this project. When I was asked to be the first patient for the stem cell program in Newcastle, I thought, well, what have I got to lose? What we did in Paul's case was uh, we took stem cells from his health eye, a very small amount of cells, and these cells were taken to the lab to grow. The team was careful to remove only a small amount of stem cells to avoid causing damage to Paul's healthy eye. But more stem cells are needed to successfully treat his damaged eye, so many more were grown in the lab. Paul's stem cells were grown on amniotic membrane, which is found in the placenta, and then we grew those in substances from Paul's own blood. These usually take two weeks for the cells to grow out of the original uh, biopsy. We transplant these cells back to his bad eye and then, and then we wait for these to settle. One of the problems with using stem cells is that they are normally grown using animal derivatives, which carries various risks. The technique that we've developed here in Newcastle for growing limbal stem cells is unique because it uses no animal cells or products and two out of the three components that we use come from the patient themselves. The third component is from placenta, which to stop fetuses being rejected by their mothers goes undetected by the human immune system. This means there's no need for immunosuppressant drugs for patients like Paul and less chance of transplant rejection. By restoring his stem cell, this allowed me to perform a coronal transplantation and been able to restore his sight back to normal and then he's back to normal life. Before the stem cell, I didn't know where we were going. I sort of, I didn't give up. I just thought, is this it? Hopefully I will get full vision back. I mean, I'm almost there now, but um, I've got friends who wear glasses. My vision's better than theirs. Paul is now one of eight patients who have regained their sight thanks to the new treatment. One of the hopes of the, all of this research is that we'll be able to treat all of the patients that have corneal disease. There is no limit to what we can do. Uh, there is a huge 
uh, scope for stem cell treatment. We're wanting to take it as far forward as we can for the benefit of the patients that we're treating.